In this video, we're taking a look at three cables that will allow you to experience Oculus Link. So, in the right side, we have the official Oculus Link cable. In the middle, we have the three meter Party Link cable. And then on the left side, we have the Party Link 5 meter, which recently just got released. And this is visual footage of how that extra length compared to the 3 meter cable compares against the other options. So you get a better real understanding how long that extra length really is. So obviously weight wise, of course, it's going to be the shorter one that's going to weigh less. The 3 meter length Party Link cable weighs roughly around 88 grams according to my scale, while the new 5 meter cable weighs in roughly around 223 grams. Now the fiber optic, the official Oculus Link cable, which is made out of, weighs just 3 grams less. So it's slightly lighter compared to that one. But when using these cables in the real world, playing your VR games, there is zero noticeable difference when these cables are connected to your VR headset. In fact, honestly, if you have the cable properly wired and wrapped up, you wouldn't really notice the difference between the three cables. So some might be asking, why are these cables a must have for the quests? Well, it's not really so much of a must have, but it's just because it's just designed for the Oculus Quest. You see, if you're using a cable, a standard cable that doesn't have this 90 degree turn, you're most likely to damage it. And it also costs a lot of stress to the port like this guy. But either way, I mean, people still manage to damage it, so it's not really damage proof or anything, but it's safer for the VR headset with these than those other ones. Now, if you're concerned about image quality between these three cables, honestly, I noticed zero differences between the three. I played an hour each on each cable, playing that new latest Walking Dead VR game. And first of all, that VR game is insane. The gameplay is unreal too realistic almost you have to manually band-aid yourself you could disassemble weapons you could it's just crazy if you're looking for a good vr game definitely do check out the walking dead but back to the subject at large the gameplay on all three of these cables is fluid there's no stuttering issues the contrast the texture honestly look identical it's really challenging to even tell the cables apart so image quality concerns, yes, they are 100% identical and they'll perform the same. But for me personally, I felt the best experience is with the five meter cable compared to the three. That extra length really does make you feel more immersive in your VR game as that extra length does allow you to rotate much more and keeps you further away from your desktop so you don't accidentally bump into the display or something. But something that I did notice from my experience, and this is a huge con to some, although all three of these cables are USB 3.1 with backworks compatibility with USB 3, the three meter party link cable is the only one that actually is fully supported to be used on a regular USB 3 port because out of the box it does include a USB-C to USB-A adapter, which works 100% of the time if your computer does not have a USB-C port. So if your computer does not have a USB-C port, the three meter cable is your best choice. Because with that new five meter length cable, I was unable to successfully link up my Quest to my desktop by using that same adapter. So in order for me to play it, I had to literally go over to my friend's house and borrow his desktop because his motherboard does have a USB-C port. And when you have it connected like that, it works 100% of the time. And while I was editing this video, I just noticed this, but there's a lot of negative reviews because people were buying it thinking they could use it on your regular USB 3 port. As I was explaining, you can't, unfortunately not with this cable. The same can also be said about the official Oculus Link cable. With a USB-C port and a USB-C, connection, it works 100% of the time. Just one thing I noticed, since my personal PC, as I previously mentioned, does not have a USB-C port, I have to rely on that adapter, which works 50% of the time. By that, I mean, you, there's a couple of things you gotta do because you have to clear out the broadband from the other USB ports so that it could get all the broadband. If you don't do that, it's not gonna properly connect to the VR headset. So there's additional things you gotta do if you want to successfully connect with the official Oculus Link cable if you're just using a standard USB 3 port. In other words, if your computer does not have a USB-C port, you're better off just going with the three meter cable by Party Link, as that one shouldn't give you any issues. But if your machine does have a USB-C port, all three of these cables will work, but that extra length on the Party Link and that price tag, that's actually a good deal. Now last time, if you may recall, I did a speed test utilizing my external SSD Western Digital Hard Drive 500 gigs using the cable and using the same program that allows us to see this write and read speed speed in real time. If you watched that previous video, you already are aware that it didn't really perform that well. Well, after that video, I did reattempt the test and it performed just fine. So 
So I'm not sure why it gave us such a low number the first time, but this is gonna be a reattempt of that previous test. So instead of doing two cables, we're focusing on three. And so far, the five meter party link cable is giving us connection issues as it just does not want to detect my hard drive. My Mac is not detecting them for some reason. This is literally the brand new 16 inch MacBook Pro model. So by my guess, this could be caused because the length is just clearly too long for any data to transfer efficiently. I tried different ports, same results. It's just not detecting it whatsoever. And I know the hard drive is working because I was just recently using it. So I went ahead and moved on and connected it once again to the three meter cable by party link this time. And this time the cable had no issue with my laptop being able to detect my external hard drive. So using the same software program that we used last time, Blackmagic disk speed tests, it detects our hard drive. So selecting the hard drive as the target, we're gonna go ahead and transfer five gigabytes and see how fast it can do it. So in real time, it's hovering around writing at speeds 369 and writing speeds, you, it's typically around the low 400, so 430 it looks like during the real time, which is excellent because if you're using this for data transferring, for transferring large files and you want a long cable, this will be the right choice. And now when I switch things up with the Oculus Link cable, remember this one's using fiber optics, not traditional copper wire, what cables typically have. Uh, the write, read and write speed was slightly faster, not by a whole lot. In real time, it was doing about 450 writing speed and reading, hovering, hovering around 500, which is good, really good for transferring large files. So yeah, uh, for some reason was the longer party link cable, the five meter one. I don't know why, but it wasn't able to detect my uh, external hard drive utilizing my Thunderbolt 3 port that's on my 16 inch MacBook Pro. So if you want a really long cable to transfer files, in these similar situations, the Oculus Link optic fiber cable might be a good choice for you. And uh, com judging everything that I've seen on the market for optic fiber cables, this is actually a good price. It's a fair price, I should say. And then when it came to charging devices, the current compared to all three of these cables was almost identical. No differences here whatsoever. So all in all, for playing your Rift games on the Oculus Quest, utilizing the Oculus Link, all three of these cables will provide you the same image quality. The only minor con that can be somewhat annoying is that the Party Link 5 meter cable is less flexible than the official Oculus Link cable. So it can be sometimes annoying to store it away when you're wrapping up the cable. But anyway guys, that's basically it. Uh, I'll be sure to link the products in the video description down below so you can quickly go ahead and find it. And if you're wondering what accessories I have for my Oculus Quest, including this decal, I cover all that in this video, which you can go ahead and watch right here. And then that video is just a video that YouTube is recommending specifically for you. Anyway, folks, thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.